Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining with me again. If you're new here, a very warm welcome to you. I hope you'll check out some of the videos I've made about the history of religion, the uh, beliefs of different groups, and some of the people who have made a spiritual impact in our world. Just last week, I made a video about John Wesley and the founding of the Methodists. This is, I guess, what YouTube would call a short additional info about John Wesley. He, his years were 1703 to 1791. I'm going to put a link in the description box to the former video that tells about him and also a link to where you can find sermons of his. I hope you'll comment on what I'm going to read to you this morning and share your thoughts about it. This is John Wesley's manifesto. Uh, it is posted in the Wesleyan Museum in Bristol in England and it gives us a lot of insight into what he thought of as the Christian lifestyle and into his personality and his worldview. John Wesley's manifesto. Number one, reduce the gap between rich people and poor people. Two, help everyone to have a job. Three, help the poorest, including introducing a living wage. Four, offer the best possible education. Five, help everyone to feel that they can make a difference. Six, promote tolerance. Seven, promote equal treatment for women. Eight, create a society based on values and not on profits and consumerism. Nine, end all forms of slavery. Ten, avoid getting into wars. Eleven, share the love of God with everyone. And twelve, care for the environment. A man of his time and a man before his time. Three hundred years later, people are uh, still advocating for all of the, the things on John Wesley's manifesto. I believe the Methodist Church can be proud, especially proud, of the foresight and the deep thinking and concern for people of their founder, John Wesley. Well, I hope this was informative and you'll join with me again next time. In the meantime, stay safe and well. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye for now.